Corey here with The Mentored Engineer, and I want to let you know that most coasters are 40 coasters. So when SNS says they have a 40 coaster, it's actually only three dimensions. All right, so let's dive into this deeper. So when you're thinking those coasters, you're thinking of the Joker at Great Adventure or Tumbili, Tumbili, Tambili, all pronounced in cube while you're at King's Dominion, so I don't know what to call it. Uh, those are only three dimensional coasters. So there's two ways to look at this. So in any engineering system, there's six degrees of freedom for a particle. So we're gonna consider the cart a particle as it goes along the track. So these six degrees of freedom are heave, sway, and surge. Heave and sway are always constrained because we don't want the coaster coming off the track. All right, and then rotationally, we have pitch, yaw, and roll. So uh, pitch is going up and down hills, which we have along with surge. Uh, but roll, it doesn't roll. The tracks are always parallel and it doesn't turn. So that's two degrees of freedom. So we can take a step back and look and see that the cars also pivot. All right, so that's three degrees of freedom. Another way of looking at this is to look at it from a larger perspective and see that the uh, track goes up and down and left and right. Uh, and then it pivots again. So that's three degrees of freedom. So what about a coaster like X2 at Magic Mountain? Well, that's actually a fifth dimensional coaster. Let's look at that. So we've got surge, it can go back and forth on the track. We've got pitch, it can go up and down hills. We've got yacht, makes left and right turns. And we've got roll, it twists uh, side to side. And then we've got another degree of, of pitch because the individual cars move. So that's a fifth dimensional coaster. So that's all for this time. Please don't call it a fourth dimensional coaster. It is an SNS free spin.